Guys, it's awful, okay? It breaks my heart more than I could ever express to you. Please don't come at me in the comments. I just cannot, I'm, I'm mad, I'm sad, and we just gotta get through this without hurting him. beautiful fur family. I'm recording something to add to the beginning of a video, this video that you're watching, because um, sometimes I feel like in the moment I don't always um, get the message across as clearly as I want to. Um, I'm still like jittery. I feel sick in my stomach and I just feel so sad. I'm really sad. I have um, Max here, who's a little darling, and I'm getting on with his groom. Um, but I've taken some time to rest my heart because, um, you know, I just want to cry. Some things really, some grooms really suck. Um, and so I just wanted to come in before you watch the video and pre-warn you that it's going to be hard to watch. This is not an easy to watch groom. Um, I want to say that I really know that what we did with this dog was not nice. Um, and I want to make it really clear that I truly believe I did what was in the dog's best interest um, because I truly believe that his owners are not going to take him to the vet for sedated grooming, um, which is what this dog should have had. He should have been sedated and um, groomed under sedation so he did not have to feel or experience or go through what he just went through with us. Um, and that all sounds very dramatic, but I'm sure that 99.9% .9 of you will agree with me. Um, even on pickup, when the owner picked the dog up, she just didn't care. She really just did not care. Um, the only thing that I will say is that the groom is documented and you can take what you want from that. Um, uh, yeah, I, I just want you to know that I'm not out here trying to hurt dogs. I'm That dog needed to be relieved of the pain and suffering that he was experiencing with the severe matting that he had all over, all over. He would have been just in agony. Um, if you get to the end of the video or even if you can't watch it but you can skip to the end to see the end results um he felt so much better he was running around he was sniffing everything he was relaxed um we kept him as safe as we could and really reduced the risk of injuring him um he was very stressed out throughout the groom i definitely recognize that but i truly as i said believe that it was something that we had to do for him to get that grooming off um if it was any other dog and a client I, that I knew would do the right thing and take him to the vet, I'd turn them away. i turn dogs away all the time um, because they need to be sedated. I'm a big advocate for dogs not having to suffer. Um, in this case, I think, yeah, I can't say it enough times, but um, be gentle in the comments. Understand how much it hurts me. It hurts my heart to put dogs through that. It really does. I've When, I, when, when he went home, I video called my mum that's how much it upset me. I cry now. <laughs> um, I video called my mum because we don't want to do, we don't want to have to do things like that. Groomers do not want to go around hurting dogs. So, um, yeah, they stay with me. They stick with me. They're dogs that I won't ever forget. Um, I've tried to convince the owner to book a sedated groom for him um, for like six weeks time to get the rest of the hair off of him, get him cleaned up and properly looked after. And that the excuse was that the vet was booked out, um, but yeah, I don't know. I've got nothing <laughs> outside of that. I just thought I would come in first and um, explain myself because I know that uh, obviously people have differing opinions um, and that's okay, that's okay. Um, but be gentle and please know that it comes from a place of where I truly believe I'm doing what's in the dog's best interest, which was to immediately relieve him of the pain that he would have been in. Um, yeah. Uh, if you watch the video, I won't say I hope you enjoy it because it's really awful. Um, yeah.
Oh dear. What have we got? Gizmo. Hey buddy. Hi. Oh dear me. Hello. We got a turtle shell. Look. Uh, got a ninja turtle. Hi buddy. Uh, Gizmo, I've been told, is quite aggressive. Um, reactive aggressive. Obviously the pain yes, and discomfort yeah. I would say. So I'm not going to do muttered. a lot of touching. He's very unsure. Um, and I, I imagine he just bites because everything hurts. I reckon but it hurts, yeah. Pulls. I think this will be the first time I use a 10 blade in reverse on a dog. Not the first time, but for a whole body. I've done it on like a leg or something crazy, but not a whole body. Um, yeah, so I will. you guys will see. We will record this groom. I just have to let you know that Dale did not get Mish's kitchen because they're on Christmas holidays. <laughs> Sorry, so he's a bit cranky. He's hungry. You're um, hungry too. I'm so hungry. Anyways, I can if wait. If there's anyone out there, please bring us some food. <laughs> we need snacky snacks. Because we're dying. <laughs> I'm absolutely parched. Welcome look to at that. You can see well. here. Yeah, they've been hacking pulling. at him. No, that's pulling. Oh yeah, it's matting is awful. It's actually horrific to think of the discomfort these dogs are in. Uh, but let's not delay. Uh, I'm gonna that's try. Pretty bad. It. I'm gonna try it. Just be very careful, please. Yeah. You don't. You're not reading his language. What's his he name? He is on edge. Gizmo. It's Gizmo. He is on edge, man. He went to me for comfort. I know, but. It, he went to you, but what, you don't know when you touch him what's gonna hurt him. So I'm actually nervous to pick him up. That I might pull something, and he'll snap at me. Well, so, I need a good shot that if he does bite you. Thank you. You'll catch it. See I'll how um, it. he is just like on edge. Okay, oh, very see. tiny. Oh my, he's intact. He's got balls. Uh, uh. I asked if he has fleas, and she said no. But I'm not convinced, you guys. Yeah, it's that time of year, anyway. So I am just going to try to ensure I have good control over this guy. Slow down. Slow down. Good boy. So, um, you know, he's um, a bit untrusting, of course. He thinks that something horrible is about to happen, and that's okay. Something horrible is about to happen. Uh, and I get a lot of comments that I'm torturing dogs, and I'm so mean, and yeah. I'm sorry. Awful. I'm, I, in the end, am helping them. Yes, it is mean and uncomfortable. I did not put this dog into this condition. He has come to me like this, and I'm mm -hmm. going to help him. And it's not going to be easy to help him, but I'm going to help him. We're going to do it together. I hope I'm going to help him. Um, wow, look at that. Yeah. They already cut a... They've what did been look cutting... Like oh, yeah, you never know, honestly. Um... You just never know. I feel like so, I've groomed him before, though. So this is going to be an amazing oh. scratching. Oh my! Gizmo. Yeah, I totally do. Do you have a Gizmo like, on the books? I don't know. I feel like maybe three years ago I groomed him. <laughs> oh. Okay. Sorry, I touched his bum. Yeah. Because he was backing off the table. Okay, come on. Just calm down. You're going to have to shorten that lead or something. That's all right. Do you have a shorter one? Uh, I do. A little back one? But I just want to get a muzzle on him, actually, more than anything. No, just move away. Don't worry about that. And don't go anywhere near his butt. No, nah, we're mates. <laughs> <laughs> don't go anywhere near Happy. his butt. We're mates, Oh, Dale, oh, please. 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 Okay, yeah, no, this is, that, that was... Enough. This is why the man doesn't help. Okay. Right. The yeah. man is stupid. Stop kiss my stop. Stop that. Hello. So he's actually backing up to me to have comfort. He is actually doing that. But it hurts him when he gets touched back there. This is gonna be hard, you guys. I have pre-warned the owner that if I can't complete the groom, because I can't keep him safe, he'll need to go get sedated. Mmm. So that's very definitely on the cards. Come here. Good boy. I made it too big. <sighs> Whoops, it does. I don't it's think okay. you're going to catch him by surprise again. I'm pretty good at it. But do you think he will enjoy a good scratch at the end of all of this? We'll, uh, we'll, we will make him feel better if we can get through this. I'm a little bit... I, I don't know that I'll get through it. Gizmo. Well, you've got a limited time. <laughs> 
You've only got a limited time. I do have a limited time. Uh, you guys, it's not going to look very nice, okay? Because I'm just going to restrain him. And shave him. And get it done. No stuffing around. And I am just going to grab my 10 blade and I am going to go in reverse uh, for much of this groom. It's okay, my little man. So I am going to hold him by his muzzle here. What did they use to try and Scissors. cut that off? <laughs> okay. They've used scissors, and they may have cut his skin underneath too. Yep. Okay, okay. Let's listen. I want to help you, okay? I, I really want to be able to help you. And we're gonna. I'm. Ugh, this is awful because I'm probably not going to be able to finish this groom. To be yep. honest, yep. because of the um, pain. Man, pain. We'll give it a little bit of a go. It could have just been that he's go very super on edge. slow on this part here. Good boy, good boy, good boy. I'm gonna try, mate. We'll go slow. Um, it could be that he's been cut underneath and his skin, or yeah. that his skin is damaged just from the pulling. Yeah. It would be bruised and sore. Um, just watch I don't throw my clippers at you. I do jump. I always jump. I've already been hit with the clippers before. I know. We don't know what's underneath of that, so. No. Besides breathing? He's gonna, he's gonna go any minute now, so just give him a second. Hey, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Hi, buddy. Yeah, good boy. I know. It's okay. Just go nice and slow and steady. I want him to know that I do. I am holding him. Uh, oh, let's go. Calm, calm. Come on. It's okay. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. Because there's not really anyone else that so can help sorry. him at the moment. Because I'm hurting him. Yeah. I hate these ones. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, I'm sorry, buddy. Good boy. Good, good boy, I know, I'm sorry. Good boy. I know, I'm so sorry. I'll give you a break in a sec, okay? Let me get a little bit further. The whole thing's moving. Yeah, it, it, so it's pulling hurts. here on this side a lot. When you tug this, it pulls there. Let's so try and get that side off. We're just doing little, little sweepies at a time. It's unthreading a blanket, man. Yeah. So mean. Mm -hmm. I hate that. I hate to do it. I hate it. Just keep a good grip of that head. It's okay, buddy. I'm trying to break it open at the same time. He's sore there. It's okay, yeah. I'm trying to help you, my man. Is that colour there, though? Is that bruising? On the yes. skin? Wow. Oh. And dirt. But a lot of bruising, too. I know, I know. I've got you. Also, it's right on his spine. Yeah. The whole thing's moving. Yeah, it's a shell. Guys, don't come at me like I'm trying to get it off in one piece. I am not. I'm trying to do this as gently as I can without hurting him and like controlling him so he doesn't hurt himself. Every part of this room is going to be horrible. Yeah. What blade are you using? It's a 10. It's okay, it's okay. I know. He's trying to trust me right now. He's, he's trying, but it hurts. Yep. And I do have a very tight grasp on the muzzle. Not this, yep. the muzzle. So I'm holding him by his mouth. Mm -hmm. Not choking him out, and I'm listening to his breathing, just so you all know. Okay. Okay. Oh. Stay. 
good boy. Stay. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good evening, Matt. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> all that, and that's all that's come off of him. I'm just changing my blade. Uh, my blades don't get super hot. There's lots of comments like that. It is like ice in this room. It is air conditioned. And my blades are also um, kept quite clean, and they're, I don't clean them with water. I clean them with Blade X, and they're all lubricated. They, trust me, are not burning dogs. Somebody um, said that I was. But you feel burning. them all the time. I feel time them all the well. time. You might not see it because I just do a quick. Quick on your arm. A quick little. I'm not dramatic about it. I don't make a scene. I've seen that other groomers do do that. No, I'm not dramatic about it, and I'm not burning dogs. You would see if I were burning dogs. Okay, buddy. So I'm just trying to get my position right so that I've got the best control. So my thumb's there, I'm pushing him away from me. Yeah. It looks horrible. It is horrible. Yeah. But what choice do you have? I want to go backwards, reverse here, but it was really uncomfortable for him. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. I'm trying to find um, a way to break this. Can you hand me a crappy pair of those top scissors? Oh, you like the, these yep. ones? Are you just going to try cutting through? I've got a hole here now. Okay. I would never do this with my good scissors, you guys. This is an extreme matting case, and I'm not even able to cut through it anyway, so... It didn't get me very far, did it? Do you want me to try? No. While you're holding No. 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 We're not doing that. Sorry, I will be a little bit strict with it him. It did cut a bit. Just trying to get um, a break in this piece. In the Yeti jacket. The legs are always just not a good point for these dogs, man. Oh, uh, yeah. But everything is just... The little dogs never let you even touch their legs and you've got to deal with that. Everything is connected. If I just get a break in it... <laughs> I know. Would you like a break? That's okay. You're communicating. I hear you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did that hurt, buddy? I'm sorry. Good job. Good job, buddy shaking i feel so horrible for him i'm gonna help you okay i'm really gonna help you don't make me cry you also uh, haven't eaten anything no i know i'm sorry i'm sorry buddy yeah you go hang in there okay you hang in there and we will help you we will help you as best i can okay it's all right. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. These are my hands, okay? They're helping hands. You try. You try and trust in me, all right? All right. Let's keep going. Okay, calm. Calm down. Just calm down. You need a bit of a minute longer? Come on. Come on. Come here. Did you want to try um, a towel over his head to darken? No, because I actually won't have control over him in doing that. The happy hoodie. Come, Come on, please. What about that? What about the happy hoodie? No. It's it's just a pain reaction. It just hurts. It yeah. covering him up's not gonna help with that. No. Okay. Yeah, you're right. And he knows when I hold him like that that I'm gonna do more clipping now, so I'm gonna try and just let him calm down. Give him a minute. He just needs a minute. I feel for him because he's obviously not being petted and Yeah. Loved.
I wish I had access to facilities to sedate dogs. I wish I did. I don't know. I'm sorry, mate. Are we back to having a pat now? It's okay. I know. I'm sorry, okay? I am sorry. We'll just give him a sec. We'll give him a couple of minutes so you can just stop recording for a minute because I really do want to let him know that I'm not trying to push him, I'm trying to help him. Yeah. We will give him a couple of minutes. Are you, um, can you still get bitten through your muzzle? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Um, it reduces the risk. I could put um, an e collar or a cone on him a again to try and reduce the risk, and I've no doubt that at some point I'm going to have to use different restraint techniques to. Um, keep him and myself safe but yeah. for now um, with how reactive he is even to get him into a restrained position I I don't want to make the risk of choking him out or um, hurting his windpipes and things like that yeah. you have to really weigh up these things and make the decision I want to um, suggest that he go have a sedated groom but you guys it's not going to happen no it's not going to it's just simply not going to happen this dog hasn't been at a vet in years Oh, he and he wants to trust me. It just hurts. Mm. He wants to be like, yeah, okay, come on, we'll do this. And then he's like, oh no, hang on. I mean, overall, I really don't think we'll finish this groom. Mm. Give him a couple of minutes. Guys, I've given him a wee bit of a break. I'm going to do something that is definitely not recommended. I'm going to add a second restraint. The reason why it's not recommended is because the risk of him snapping his neck or choking himself out increases significantly. But what I want to make sure is that when he snaps, he's not going to fall off the table and hang himself that way. So I'm going to be very, very cautious of everything that I do. So um, am I helping with this one or are you just... Uh, sorry? Am I helping with this We're one? We're just going to do the best we can together. Uh, it's just going to be totally play it by ear. Um, I'm gonna and the camera. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna get this thing. So the first thing that I need to do is get my restraint back on him again, my hold on him. Um, I have to protect myself from injury. That's that's an absolute must. Uh, but I have to protect him as well. So. But then being just such a significant bite risk. Um, sorry, I didn't even get in here. I'm just going to try and put a few things in place and just go from there. And I am on edge um, for two reasons. Because I'm a very emotional person and this dog's in pain and I just feel so freaking terrible for him because I know he's in pain. And because I don't want to hurt him. That's probably the number one thing that scares the crap out of me is the risk of hurting a dog. He's never got that up. Yeah, it's not really um, there for any real purpose. Chill. Just calm down. <laughs> calm down. Stop. 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 Did you just fart, dude? Okay, calm down. He's got his um, claw here in his yep, muzzle. Yeah, that's fine. He can keep it there. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. On both sides. Okay. So, we just need to carry on as best we can, and I'm going to try not to let go of him. Yep. Guys, it's awful, okay? It breaks my heart more than I could ever express to you. Please don't come at me in the comments. Because it hurts my feelings <laughs> to think that I would... I didn't put the dog in this condition. And I can't express that enough in words. That I'm just going to do the very best I can to help him. With as much love and empathy as I possibly can. I'm so sorry, my man. Oh, 
I know. I'm so sorry. Can we get scissors and just yeah. go this way? Can you grab the scissors? Uh, we'll that again? Here. Yeah. Do you want me to do it while you... No. no. Because if any injury comes about to this dog, it's I don't want it to be something that's your fault. Just hold on to his head tight. Oh, I'm holding on tight. Tighter than I scruff cats. I reckon you could do that in a few places. Kind of once you, you get, get in. Oh. oh, there we go. We have a chance at this. My arm's getting sore, excuse me. Which one? The holding one? Yeah. I'm sorry, mate, I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, look, that's coming off there. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, and he's gonna get into like his no nos. Nope. Nope. Stop. Stop. Give him a scratch there where it. So he no, can... his skin will be so sore. Not there. No, just. No. You can see here the bruising. Oh, yeah. But there it's not. No, nah, everything would be. We're not doing that. We're just gonna get this off for him. You guys, I'm gonna be mean to him, him and it's horrible. I'm just gonna get this done. Wow, that is crazy. Nope. If I let him go, I won't get a hold of him again. Yeah, yeah, don't. Is there a way I can support your arm or something? No. He will calm down. Yeah. Because he'll get tired. <laughs> calm down, mate. Calm down. Calm down. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. Just hang in there, bud. Oh, That's no, really I'm off so that sorry. Bit, I'm so sorry, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so sorry. I know, I'm so sorry. I know. I'm sorry, mate. I know, I'm so sorry. So, guys, we didn't do this, we only did. I'm sorry. Just try and relax, mate. I'm so sorry. Okay? I really am. I'm so sorry. for me man okay mm -hmm. we're in this together bud mm -hmm. I know I'm so sorry mm -hmm. I'm not gonna bath him because this little dude's been through enough yeah mm -hmm. I'm trying really hard not to cry He's gonna get mad his butt. I'm gonna need you to change my blade for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, buddy. Hang in there, mate. Just that little bit on the back there. It's not, it's around his nuts. No, here, right, it's just a little bit there. You can get it off. Oh, good job. Oh, I need to let him yeah, yeah. breathe out a little off. bit. Hang on, I'm worried about his breathing. He's just growling, he's not I having don't know. an issue breathing. I'm worried about it. Are you okay, buddy? It's hot. You stay there. I'm going to try and change the blade. I need to just give him a bit of a breather because he's. So, do you press the lever in? How do you change it? Yep, press the lever in and pull it back. Pull it up like that. 
I'm what sorry. Are you, what are you doing? Ten? Yeah. But you can't. You have to start it before you push it down. Is that correct? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Do you have to start it and push it down? Yep. And then turn it off. All right, guys. So I'm just looking at his tongue. Um, something that I keep an eye on to make sure that he's oxygenating properly. His tongue's coming out. But... He is under stress. Yes. So his breathing's not great, but I have to manage what I've got going on here that I'm not choking him out. And um, he's got definitely room in there. Yeah, you can fit your finger in there. <laughs> but his tongue's a little bit on the bluer side. So I'm just giving, not blue, but it's just not as pink as I like to see it. So. I'm definitely heating that and just giving him a breather so that he can oxygenate again. Can you give him a scratch? No, st don't ask me to scratch him again. Yeah, I know, but his it, skin is he bruised. He hasn't been scratched for so How long. How does it feel when someone touches yeah, a bruise? Look at this, it's black and bruised. That's all, excuse me, that's all bruising. That's bruising. He is a pink dog. A Back up. Dirt too. I just cannot, I'm, I'm mad and I'm sad and we just got to get through this without hurting him any more than we have to. The bath would be a release though. No, I'm not putting him through a bath. He just needs to get it off and then go home and go to bed. Yeah, right. <clears throat> just relax. Maybe we just get off this part and then we do yeah. the other part another day. So even if he's not able, if even if he's holding his breath for a period of time, that's okay it's not great um but i do need to give him a rest and just let him get some regular breathing happening he's he's locked up yep. because he's just under so much stress the two-person job come on man come on such a small little creature come on Good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. At least if you get this part off, then you can come back for another time. Or is this traumatizing and you'll never get the other parts done? No. He's so freaking traumatized right now. Come on. Come on. You're not very much fun, mate. I suppose that's not really your fault, is it? How's your arm? Sore. Yeah. This part here. This is where I talk about what I can do and what I should do are two very different things. Well, even what you've done there is better than... I've seen worse than this. Have you? Yeah, I've seen some really horrific things. Online or in the salon? In, uh, when I was a mobile dog groomer. Good boy, good boy. Worse? Yeah, I had a leg. How'd you deal with it? I had a leg that was so badly matted it had cut off. Oh yeah, leg. that's right. Yeah, I just, I stopped and I, um, contacted authorities there's no way i could walk away from the leg that. was dead wasn't it yeah, it wasn't it was even just, attached it was still anymore a, no it was attached by matting oh, was... still i was cutting through when i discovered it and i was just like what in the world who could do this so the leg was not attached other than the matting yep are you kidding me so guys i am definitely just giving him a real break to get his breathing back on track and make sure he's okay he seems to be calmly breathing now. This is exhausting for him. And as soon as I stand up again, he'll know immediately and he'll lock up again. Yeah. And maybe I should keep going while he's tired, but I'm not having a dead dog on my table. And that is a thing that can happen. These leads and restraining them like that, it is something that you can do and it is why you don't just willy-nilly pick somebody like these guys have to deal with this. It's it's not a clever thing to do for the health of your dog and if this dog died on my table guess whose fault that is it's mm. mine it would never be the owner's fault for letting their dog be in this condition it would be my fault so we go slow 
as much as I love to respect my dogs and respect their boundaries, you can't in a case like this, but you can give them breaks and monitor their breathing and keep them as safe as you possibly can. Don't, don't. That's not attached. It's attached. Okay, I didn't think it was. I'm just going to push it back no, on the table. just don't, don't, don't. I'm pushing it back on the table. Don't, it's coming off don't touch it. There. Just don't. Sorry. I thought it was Sorry, but no. The second picking... you touched it, he moved. I was picking it up because it didn't look attached anymore. Did you see how fast my hand went out and stopped you? You guys. And you say the man should help. Yeah, you want me to help. Good one. I'll All right, buddy. Camera work. So this video is going to be different. They're going to be like, oh my God, can you please tell that man to stop helping? Right. And a side of me because I'm so like... defensive. This is such a not okay situation. I don't... And you cut that off with scissors at least. When I am properly restraining him and holding him safely, I am letting him relax. I'm not properly restraining him and I'm not going to do he anything. He won't hear scissors. No. He won't hear it. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I can't see your eyes in there. That'll... You all right? Come on. I think somebody's here. Oh, that's going to be really awful for me. He's just fine. totally Oh no, I'm not worried about him. I'm he's just resigned to like this is my life. He's gone to sleep. Come on, buddy. Come on. Up you get. Come on. Up. Yeah, I know. Don't growl yeah, at me. Yeah. There you go. Good boy. We have to just keep going. <laughs> we have to keep going now. Idea. Hey buddy, let me see your tongue. Oh, Gizmo. No, no. Oh, good boy. See, pink tongue, guys. Nice pink tongue. You could actually see before that it was a slight little bit blue. Blue, yeah, yeah. That's why we keep an eye on it. It shows us whether or not he's getting properly oxygenated. Um, and yeah, I was probably holding him, restraining him a bit tight. So, but that's why we watch. We check these things so that we know what we're doing. And we can keep it under control and react and change what we're doing to keep the dog safe. Mm. Good eh? Good luck, little buddy. That's he's had a rest now, like. Mhm. Mm he's going to be good and feisty again. Then I got another iced coffee because. It's like ten minutes. We'll call this breakfast and lunch. Yeah. And we had no Mrs. Kitchen. Okay, so I've lost my hold on him, obviously, and I've got to get it back again, obviously. It's not as easy as Ooh. I would like it to be. You couldn't even get to that thing. I oh. need to not let him fall off the table. Come on. Oh. Stop. No. I understand, but we will be respectful of each other. Okay? Mm. Yeah, I can hear you. I'm listening to you, but we're not doing that. Here. Hands. I lost my restraint on him. <laughs> it really sucks. Damn. It sucks so bad. She's not even letting you in your new room now. No, I need to get that purple lead off of there without being bitten. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He knows. Why did you put them both on the same one? <laughs> because I didn't want him to choke himself out and snap his yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But I knew this would happen. Yeah, we had a customer come pick up a dog and you had to let go. Okay, I'm coming over this side, so you go that way, okay? Don't get mad at me. I know you know. I know you know. You know you know. Mm -hmm. It's like a snake. I'm trying to catch yep. a snake. Come on. Him? Yeah, I know. You can protest it. You can protest. That's fine. I understand. Oops. It's okay. We're achieving what I need to achieve. Um, Calm. Do you want me to undo it? No. Well, okay. Oh, I'm trying to be useful. Come on. Oh, you sure. boy. Shit, cheeky boy. It's a cheeky boy. 
I can do it. He can get out of this. I can do it. Hi, Papa. It's a good baby. It's a good baby. Oh, that was intense. Are you okay? I did, did it. Did you poop your pants? <laughs> no, I didn't poop my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what about the next part that I have to try and achieve? You can just slide down. I Gotta get a hold of it. Not sure. Come on. That's your department, you're the dog groomer. Come here. Come on. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. No, we don't need to. We don't need to. Mm -mm. That's enough. I know, I'm sorry, man. I'm genuinely, truly sorry. Oh. Boom. Hold on. But at the same yeah. time, should you ever have to do this to a poor little creature? No, nah, this is next level not okay. Alright, my man. Let's get this going. I know, I know, I know. I would never handle like dogs like this under regular circumstances. Yeah. If I thought that the owners would take him for a sedated groom versus just letting him die in their backyard, that's what I would do. I just have no faith. There's no guarantee that they would do the right thing by him. Well, they brought him here, so you have. I, we have a chance. We have a chance. I need to try and get him to stand I'm up. So yep. I can get this off his butt. It's okay. I know. I know. I'm so sorry. Is it off? What? That big bit. No, it's falling no, behind him. Bad, bad, bad. Really, really not good. I think he's somewhat resigning, but this is just not good. Okay, 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 okay. It's all right, mate. We're doing great. We really are. You see, the other thing is he's a Shih Tzu, and Shih Tzus normally just don't like having brooms. No. I wonder if that's why he's like <laughs> this, because he just won't get groomed. Stressful. This is stressful for me, and I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on. I know. I know. Can we get that bit off? I just really. I'm there. trying to. It's just not. Give me those scissors. Which one? The pink Where ones under again? my phone. Sorry. Do you know Jurassic Park? Yes, I was just dinosaur, about to say so. the Velociraptor. I'm pulling no, that off. That's not, not that. attached anymore. Just, but just wait. Can I have it? I just want to show No, I them. just want you to not. Okay, we did it. Now you can what? have it. What can I say? I just don't want to take any risks of wow. hurting him any more than necessary. It's all right, mate. It's all right. It's all right. No, we are squabbling. Yeah. I'll take full responsibility if I get this. Yeah, thanks. And if I put my hand somewhere. A little snappy snappy gets one. Gizmo. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. So the lady who brought him here wasn't his owner? I don't know. I don't care, to be honest. I really don't care. This mad. Please don't bite my clippers. Please, please, please don't bite my clippers. Every part of this is absolutely nerve wracking.
I'm on the edge of my seat. There we go. We're getting so far, mate. I know. I'm so sorry. We really are getting so far. You're a little white crocodile. Do you think sometimes crocodiles get stuck in one body? I don't know. I think a part of the problem is not being able to find a groomer who will deal with this and not understanding um, that he can go to the vet and be sedated. Oh, the client, I think. No. Because they did ask if I sedate dogs here and things like that. So you know that you've got yeah, cultural yeah. and yeah. language barriers, uh, which just make it so difficult. And I'm not judging or being um, on, in that way. Um, but it's just, yeah. You know, we all live in different worlds, really. We're all here together, but we're not at the same time. I don't think you should make it so you can see that the will be out about you. No. <laughs> I'm just working on what I can for the minute, to be honest. She's not so bad with that part. But then as soon as you get through bum. Actually did pretty good. It's mostly cleaned up back there. It's the legs that are just gonna be so incredibly difficult. Can you imagine if he was the same size as him? Calm, calm. I know, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know, I know. There we go. We did a little break. See? Yes, please, my love. Do you wanna grab another one? I can wait while you grab the other oh, chair. Sorry. I know, I know. I'm just going for the best angle. I think I'm sitting down at the best angle. <laughs> oh, you okay. let him go. It's okay. It's all right. Let's give him a break. He wants a break. No. No breather? We did a lot. I know. I'm so sorry. I really am. We've gotten a long way though, buddy. Yeah, we have. I know you're mad at me. Look, you want to see this? Yeah. I know. Look, it's off you. It's not on you anymore. Oh, oh you're frightened, I'm sorry. See, it's gone. You get rid of it. That's what we're doing here, okay? Can I blow the hair off your face? <sighs> not really. We'll give him another couple of minutes, but I'm not lowering that. Um, second lead. No. So I'll sit here with him and I'll just give him a couple of minutes to calm down again. Um, just keep note as well that this transition from that weight, the heat, uh, the pulling in his skin and all sorts of other things, it can actually be a big shock to their system as well. So um, I, I know these breaks are annoying, but we really do need to try and maintain his health and condition as best as we can. So the breaks, he gets breaks. He's given us that warning. He said he needs a break. He gets a break. The kindest thing I can do in this scenario is at least try to listen to him some of the time. So yeah, two minutes. You're doing pretty well. Hello, Floofy. Alright, mister. Miss, Mr. Gizmo. It's over here. I know, I know. We've got to keep going. Oh. No. No. Stop. I don't Stop. think he's friendly with you. Oh no, he does not like me. Don't let go of him again. I didn't let go of him. He did. I gave him a... Well, okay, I did, but because I did not have a pole that would keep me safe. 
boy. Get him in the sling anyway. I don't really don't think I would. Not with any control. I'm sorry, buddy. He's crying. <laughs> He's crying. <laughs> is his um, muzzle's getting loose from me pulling on it. Just try it. Try it. Try it. Come on, try it. Try and stay calm. Try and stay calm. Please. Please try. Hold this for a sec. Just try, buddy. Please. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Okay, come on, come on, stop, stop, his poor little tongue, come on, we're gonna stop this, we're gonna stop, okay, I know, I know this is absolutely horrible for you. Can I try cutting bits off with scissors while you're holding him like that? He's very sensitive about that leg, but yes. But try not to move it. Oh, it's not going to work. It's really I'll start not. Start here. Start low. No, just start where the. Yep. Thank you. No. At least it's off. Don't look at your tongue, bud. Come on, try to relax. He's okay, but he's becoming un-okay, so I'm just trying to get him to relax. It's not because he's getting choked here, it's just because he's just so damn upset. There is literally not a chance in hell I'm going to get this off him. Um, can you get the sling? I don't like my chances here, but I'm really going to friggin' try. Where is it? Uh, it's hanging up, sorry, here. It's over there. You look that way. Sorry, because I had it over there. So, we're going to just try to get his back end in first. Uh, so hang on, it's that way, isn't it? Which is the front. Just pick a side. Stop, it's unzipped. That's great, isn't it? Didn't even start. So, if you're holding it that way, you need to get those back ones closest to your hands around his back legs. These ones? Yep. Yeah. So good. And then pass yep. me the restraint. No, stop. Pass me the hooks to that side. Put it in my thumb here. Mm hmm. Okay, getting that over his head will be extremely difficult because, stop, we've got all of the harnesses in place. Yep. You need to undo the black one. And yeah, the zips see. come undone also. Oh, God, really? Mm -hmm. Watch your hands near him. Yeah, yeah. I've got a bit you closer. just hold his face. Yep. So you need to put that through the loop. Keep your hands away from him. Through here. Through here, through here. I've got it. Yep, and then reattach it. Then do the zip back up again. What is with this zip? I don't know, but hurry up. Okay, now pass it over his head. Okay, are you holding his face? I am, but... Okay, now take the one under my thumb. This one? No, don't do that. Take the one that's under my thumb. Yep. Lift it up. Now take the front one. The zip. 
You won't be able to do that. Yep. I'll take the front one and hook it there. But you're gonna let go. No, I'm gonna continue. Zip. The zipper. Zip. Watch your skin. Okay. Hang on, I'm doing this. Just, yep, okay. just around. Yep, it's too tight. How does that work? Yeah, it's like, no, stop, it's just stop. It's, it's Velcroed on the other side, it's fine. It's, oh, it's working already? Yep. I need to find different ways to... Yeah. Can you lower that? Take this one down. Yep. Because I want to just reduce his um, backwards bite force. Uh, now can I want... Can shorten? That's fine, that's perfect where it is. And that other one there can go up to the top. Do you want another short one? No. No, I need to have two different access points. I need Can to we do something about that zip so that it doesn't come undone again? Like even if it's just a bit of freaking masking tape or something? Mm. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Stop, stop, zipper, stop. Yep. Don't pinch his skin in it. You need to put your finger under it. Stop. It. The hair's in there. Good. Put your thumb inside. Yeah, I got it. Swearing, I'm sorry. Okay, so I have to. It's fine. Get something for that zip. That's not going to work. Um, just to have to be a bit of marking that. I hate this. All right, buddy, stay super calm. I'm not doing anything to you yet. No, I also thought you could do. Is it working or no? Just this on the zipper. I'm putting this on the zipper. Yeah. I'm putting it up here. Good job. And then I'm just going to mask it. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Okay. Must take. Okay. Must take what? Oh, that's fine. No, it won't stay there. Yeah, it will. No. Well, uh, it's too dangerous without a quick release. Yeah, masking tape's just not light, so. <sighs> if I could find the end of the tape. Yeah, any day now would be wonderful. Oh. So I'm going to task you with the job of holding his head. Yes, like under the bone. I've given him a little head support here so that he can't throw himself around. So what you're going to do is take your hands here like this yep. and hold him very tight, which he's not going to like. And I don't Where know if he'll camera? scratch. Just put it there, wherever. So when you go for it... He will it, scratch my arm. Yeah, I'm going to hold his legs and I'm going to wait for him to calm down, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Right, I've got him. You reckon? Yep. You good? Yep. He will only bite you if you let go. Yep. If you do let go, get the F out of the way when you do. Yep. This is not going to be easy or good in any way. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to change my blade. So I'm just going to go with a 30 for these legs and just get off as much as we can. All right, buddy. I'm not holding him around the throat, I'm holding him in the back of the ear bone. Yeah. And can you keep an eye on his tongue? He stinks, so. Yeah. So badly matted. 
So I will say the 10 was going through just fine on his body. Um, there was a lot of matting, but it was hitting the spot, so it was not too bad for him. Mm -hmm. um, but on these legs, there's no way to get through it. A 10 would get through this. So we just dropped down to that 30 for these legs. That's good, guys. Is he breathing all right? Uh, I imagine his front legs will be the worst. He's snoring or something. Yeah. None of those leads are tight, are He's they? He's blinking. No, none of the leads are tight. He's just under so much stress, you guys. It's just freaking horrific. I'm just waiting for right so that we flip out. Yep, well, here it comes. I haven't smelled him before. Mm. Welcome to the grooming. Okay, tail is badly matted. Hold on tight. Yep, I'm sorry, I'm having a change it. So now we just really get this off as fast as we can. But we can just limit how long he's been restrained. Like <laughs> that. It's right, it's right. You okay? Oh, the dew claws. Sorry. Other one? You okay? Yeah, yeah. Maybe this way. Do you want me to put a towel over your arms? I'll put a towel over no, here. No, I'm just trying to think of a better way to get him. Don't let go. Sorry, I the just claws the got tail. Me on the fingers on the other side. Yeah, then they're sharp. I'm sorry. Yeah, put, put a towel over my hand. On which side? It's his claw went into my finger. I'm so sorry. I'm going to grab this. On the this. other side, see my bottom hand? This one? Yeah, my bottom hand. He stuck How his claw How am I going to put a towel that. around it, though? I don't know, just wrap it over so that... No, not not even that side. Underneath on the other side. There is, uh, there is no underneath on that so side. So just drape the towel over the top of the whole thing. Not his face. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. It's alright, I'll hang on to his legs. I'm going to do his front leg now anyway. Yeah, do his front No, you stay on that side. I'm going to work from behind. I'm so sorry. Do you call it They're really variety. sharp and nasty. The little... Sorry about it. A little um, a chicken cockatoo puff. Yeah. Oh, they're vicious little things. Oh, yes. We're doing really well. I'm so sorry. I'm so I'm used to it. Yep. Um, but it hurts in a way that actually makes you angry. No, but it got me in between the fingers. Yeah. In the webbing. We'll have a look in a minute. I'm so sorry. You're probably bleeding. Um, just put some better bean on it after. Okay. Yeah. We're nearly done with this one. It's, we're actually nearly just done, period. Oh, sorry, sorry. Stop, buddy, stop, 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 stop. Are we good? Yeah. You need a minute? Hmm. Oops, he just farted. I hope he didn't poop himself. You can see his tongue color. Yeah. Mm. No, I can't see his tongue color. It's okay, He's, I'll get this off and then I'll come out. around and have a look. Here we go, here we go. It's just such an awful thing to do to a dog. Mm. Like I said, if I had any faith that they would pay to have him sedated for this, I would, I would have sent him off. But I just did not believe that was going to happen. Oh. Okay. Just a change hey, of buddy. position. Good. Hi, darling. Hi. I'm sorry, Humpty Bones. So, I'm confident with that side. Do I, I want to go or no? No. Like, relax a little, but do I want to try and do the other side from this side or do we want to try and turn him around? Can you pull the table out while I don't get my go. Okay, so I'll just go back to my same position. Go that way. 
and Okay, that's enough now. That's enough. I know. I understand. Okay, let's calm down. Good boy. So this is the leg that's really painful for him the most. Maybe he was a shark. In like a previous life, or what? Yeah, like a white shark, great white shark. You guys, if you've stuck around this long, I'm sorry that it's most likely absolutely broken your heart. Mm. I know, I'm sorry. Um, but thank you. Please take this as instruction on what happens when dogs are neglected. This is 100% neglect. Regardless of the situation, there's every opportunity to reach out and ask anybody for help. He's still breathing, isn't he? Yeah. He's got a good breathing He's actually breathing quite fine, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to bark him. I'm not going to do anything more than I need to to just get this matting off him. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, buddy. Can you see this bruising? I know, I'm so sorry. Bruising or dirt? It's bruising, that is bruising. 100%. I'm sorry, buddy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So when you do his back... Oh, his breathing is funny. See, his breathing is different. Yeah. Okay, just relax up on everything. I'm not holding him tight. Is this lead a bit tired? No. Okay. He just doesn't like you touching that. No, I'm just waiting for a response from him. Hey bud, how you doing there? You hanging in there? Good boy, I'm so sorry. Oh. Thanks. He's um, blinking and everything. I think he's just totally resigned to how horrible this is for him. Maybe this is how he normally gets groomed. Normally gets groomed? He'd have to be groomed to be normally groomed. It's very important when we're suspicious of his well-being that we stop. There's nothing worse. Can, you, can I get under that? There's nothing worse than injuring a dog. I oh, know, there we go. He's mad. That's a good sign. Alright. We'll have one more leg to do. you got to do that Valkyrie off again. Are you good for one more leg? And then that's it. I'll have a quick look at his face, but actually, no, I'm not even going to look at his face, guys. Just leave his face Can alone. I let him go or not? No, you cannot let that dog go. You absolutely cannot let that dog go. But well, I'm a trooper, trooper, aren't I? You are such a trooper. I know the pain because I do it myself. Just a small dog. It's just a small town dog living yeah. in a small... Okay, I'm done. Hmm. Small town. Okay, you ready? Yep. This is going to be the end of it. This matting's bad. You're still going to get him down. That's fine. I can manage that. They're looking at me right now. YouTube. The man. I don't know if I can see. Push the camera a little bit your way. Huh? Push the camera a little bit to see what you're seeing. That's it. That's it. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, that big stew core nail there. Nasty. So nasty. She took a midnight train no, going anywhere. That's a surprise, isn't it? Yep. 
but they're, with so much matting, usually they just can't even get in, so. I'm seeing for my comfort, it helps me calm down a little bit, you guys. I am so on edge. You're still breathing. I'm the anesthetist. Don't say that. No. The, the monitor is person. Mm. Doing an operation. Mm. Who's that person? Mm. Yeah, the anesthetist. It is that person. Mm. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you alright? Mm -hmm. Do you need me? Nope. I was just hold, holding on for dear life. Right at the end here, buddy. It's just a little bit on the other back foot. Yep. No one can see me, but I'm squishing between the wall and the H-frame, and I'm just trying to get this done without having to turn him around. I know, I'm sorry. Do you want to swap for a minute and no. I'll hold him and you can have a break? Just get it done. I'm trying to, I really am. We've got to be close. We are, but I can't quite get the sanitary area on this side. Okay, so I'm just going to rearrange him and pee him off a little bit. So I can get his booty out on this side. We fixed the zipper issue. Yeah. Uh, that was so annoying. It's actually broken now. Um, these eyelets are all tearing away, so oh. I have to just get a new one anyway. Oh, imagine that in the middle of this group. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on it. Just call another one. I'm going to now. I have to. It's broken. Okay, I really have to rearrange him a lot more than that. I'm sorry. Where's your balls? <laughs> Living in the lonely world On a midnight to go anywhere I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right in the nuts. Just a city boy Born and raised in South Detroit mm -hmm. On a midnight to go anywhere What are you looking at? Sorry, 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 sorry. It's all right, mate. It's all right. It's all right. Just don't choke him with that lead. No, I know. I'm just repositioning. What were you talking about? I'm sorry. What were you talking about on his oh, back here. leg? What are you? A little bit of floofy here on the inside. Um, no, he's got a dew claw there. No, oh, there you got a little floofy. Oh, okay. Just cut that off. Hold, hold. Don't let go. Don't let go. It's all right, mate. It's okay. Come on. I know. I'm so sorry. The last little tushy push and then I'm going to put you down on the floor. Okay. Okay, hold in there, buddy. We've done so well. All right, we're going to do this last little bit. And then I'm going to let you go. Good boy. Good boy. I'm so sorry, mate. All right, just um, hold, okay? Mm -hmm. Just keep holding on because what I'm going to do is get his collar. Oh. I'm so sorry, I know that's not nice. You're going to put his collar on? Yep. Oh, so you don't have to go near him. I'm not volunteering as tribute to do any such activities. Oh my god, it's, a, it's one of those ones? Yep. How ridiculous. Because I don't want him to attack me once I release him. Okay, so we just have to get all of his um, equipment off one by one. And we've got to work out what order we want to do that in. Okay. For a YouTube video, we should release the spiky end first. Okay, I'm going to start with this. Is he, is he just checking with the breathing first? Yes, yep. quite nicely too. Okay. Now, he will know that he's getting lighter. Yep. So just be aware, okay? Don't tell him to be a werewolf. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I still have one more dog to do today. Take that, zip it, one off. No, first. I'm going to leave it there and do it from here. Okay. I mean, take the masking tape off. I'm not even concerned about it, I'm just going to undo it here. Okay, do you have his head? Yes. So this lead is at the right height. I'm going to take that black one, put yep. it over there and drop him. And you're just going to keep holding on. I've got him, just do it. Go, go, go. 
Okay, buddy. I know. You've I'm done so him well. So that he doesn't get <laughs> I was keeping him away from you. He was I coming for you. It's, it's just freaking awful. There's no other way to say it. It's just freaking sucks. Can he get out of it? Oh hell yeah, he can get out. Can of he everything. get out of it on his own? If we put it, let him, okay. let it go. No, nope. not yet, not yet. Hold on, we've got to get this over here. Oh no, he'll just walk forwards out of it. Okay, yeah, let him go and step I mean. right back real quick. Yep, that's it. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay. I know, I know. That's fine. Uh, his body's done. He's had enough. I'm not going to put him through anything more. Oh, there's a big bit on the front there. Where? Ah. Swoosh. Far out. Brussels sprout. Where'd I put my clipper? Over there. Can you grab the clippers? I'm sorry, mate. I'm so sorry. Okay, just put the clippers down there. It's alright, buddy. It's okay. I know, I know, I know. Stop, 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 stop. Calm. I know, I'm sorry. Got it. Calm. I know, I know. That can stay. He's had enough. He's done. It's not worth it. We've achieved so much for him. We don't need to continue. Just to, are no. we going to put him down on the ground? Yep. And just let him do his dog thing? He's still going to... Don't take his thing off until you put him on the ground. No, it's okay. I got him. get bitten then that's just whatever that's the best we can hope for i will Hello. try and encourage them to bring him back to me so that i can finish him up or at least get him a sedative. no he needs to go to the vet. David groom or anything like that he needs to go to the vet Holy. that's the best we can do it really him. is his face is going to just get turned to a matter so mess. two reasons i don't think they'll get him to a vet but the other thing is the vet is booked up for so far ahead, like three months ahead for sedated yep. grooming. That is the other You're thing. Right, so he is okay for now. And that is the best it's gonna be. I'm texting his mum to come and get him because there is no way in heck I'm picking him up. <laughs> and my next dog's gonna be here soon. He did get me the little bugger with his dew claw and the webbing. Oh, you haven't had a good scratch in a long time. Up. Are you friendly? Or are you? That's what we don't know. I'll, I'd love to patch you, but I don't want to. Can I? No. I'm going to try patching. No, please don't. Seriously, Dale. If he don't, jumps up to say hello. Don't know how sore he is. Just let him rub up against sore. you on his terms. I will. That's fine. Right, I'll leave that. I'm not patting him. If I'm not doing it, there is no way you should be doing it. He could rub up against you and hurt himself and bite you. Owie. Come on, buddy. This is so tempting because he's so cute. It's not. It's not tempting at all. He is cute. I've got him water here. And for those that didn't... For the haters. He didn't have a drink because no, he didn't, do whatever that didn't is. need it. Stay out of that. <laughs> you want a toy? I'll get him a toy. <clears throat> he 
Even crocodiles love toys, surely. Can't yeah. Moving that around. Eh? Can't just stop moving. Want to take a toy? This one? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. So that's his ex gizmo. Okay. Oh, I thought he picked the toy for a second. I'm exhausted on a an emotional level. I'm yeah, just exhausted right. emotionally. Need a hot shower to wash that off. Not off my body, off my heart. Off your heart. Mm. Oh, everybody loves you, you know that, right? Poor little fella. You didn't make the situation for him, but you helped him. I hope I helped him. I, it's, I, to relieve any of his suffering for as short a time as I can. I mean, that's crazy. This is just... You can't even... That's like a... You know, the basket? Um, you put the plant in it, and it's got the, the, the brown weaving. Core, core peat. Yeah. Type mesh, whatever it is. You put the plant in it. Oh, it's like a coconut. Basket. And then the plant grows through and eats it. Yeah, the coconut. Coconut yeah. fibers made yeah. into a plant thing, a mat. That's yeah. what that's like. Crazy. But that's not even very much. Imagine if it was bigger. Oh, man. <laughs> it would be a nightmare. Right. I mean, it's a terrible groom. They need to get him to a vet. Yeah. But I don't think they will. Somehow. No. They won't. He's going for the other toys. Oh, you interrupted him. Yeah. These ones. You can have a hamburger if you want. But this one's very popular. Anyway, see you later, little buddy. Sniffing. That's because lots of dogs come in here. They usually wee on that wall, and they usually wee right there on that wall. I'm surprised he hasn't marked any territory yet. Yeah. <laughs> Getting right in there. Whew, okay, guys. Chuck him in the cage, and then we'll. Oh, yeah, I can do that. No, that's fine. Um, oh, wow, I'm exhausted. How about you? I know there are going to be so many opinions on this room. Um, and judgment and that's totally okay. It's really really horrible to see um, Dogs being treated this way. It is horrible to see a groomer treating a dog this way it is horrible period You just go ahead and say whatever you need to say um, But all I can say for myself and it's emotional and I really tried to hold my feelings today Is that I did what I thought was best for the dog to help him and relieve him of his suffering and he was suffering in that coat um, and on that note um, like the video subscribe anything you like or don't or don't say anything or say something that's fine um, but wherever you are and whatever you're doing I hope you're having a fantastic time of day and we'll see you again next time bye see you Gizmo